First, let's add the text layer, then add any text you want. Now, let's go to the effect controls panel here. Quickly, I would add some animation, such as at the beginning, I would make the text to appear after a few seconds by adding two keyframes and changing the opacity from 0 to 100. And at the end of this text, I would add another two keyframes, one for making the text to disappear and the other to make the text to move up while it is disappearing. In here, there is a secret tool that's extraordinarily useful. So if you move your cursor here, you could see a blue rectangular option that you could simply pull and it is called intro duration. Its name itself doesn't give us enough information about its purpose but don't worry i will show you how you could use it similarly at the end of this animation we also got another blue option that you could also pull to the left side and it is called outro duration so when you're pulling both intro duration and outro duration make sure that the area that it's highlighted covers all your keyframes at the beginning and at the end of your animation basically in this way we have preserved the intro and outro of our animation you could access the same options by going to the essential graphics panel and then under the edit tab you could see the intro duration and outro duration that we have just set up and if you closely look at your text layer in here you could see at the beginning and at the end there are some highlighted marks and these are the preserved intros and outros so what does that mean it means that now if you would shorten or lengthen this text layer your intro and outro animation would still be preserved there are two very useful ways of using this first you could make a copy of this text by holding the alt key and dragging the text layer and then you could change the text and you could also shorten or lengthen its duration and your animation would still be preserved and another way is by right clicking on the text layer and export it as a motion graphics template and then go to your essential graphics panel click in here and import back this template that we have just created and if you import it onto your timeline you could see that intros and outros are both preserved so in this way you could use this text animation again and again you could increase and decrease its duration and you will still maintain the animation at the beginning and at the end i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel i hope to see you in my next video bye bye